everyone, Nicole here with Reality Rehab, your reality show after show. So I am loving all of my reality stars these days, Kendra and those crazy ladies on Pretty Wild, but I find myself desperately missing the Kardashians more and more every week. So I am so excited that Courtney and Chloe Take Miami starts in only eight weeks. Let the countdown to Kardashians begin. Until then though, I am getting plenty of entertainment watching Alexis, Tess, and Gabby on Pretty Wild. And I have to say, those three sisters are a little more than pretty wild. They are very wild. And I'm thinking they need to spend a little less time swinging from stripper poles and a little more time studying the secret and working on their flower essence work. Okay. <laughs> Lynn from Washington just tweeted me saying, hey, Nicole, love your show. Thanks, Lynn. And those girls on pretty wild seem like total sluts. Lynn, I don't actually think they're sluts. I don't blame them for coming across that way. Blame the guys in charge of censoring their boobs. Oh my God, do you see that? I can see her nipple. That fuzz is hiding nothing. Huh, and so it is, I guess. Moving on to a hot mama who has put her boobs away, at least for now, Kendra, my favorite fun-loving, booty-shaking milf who proved last week that she can still get down in the club at her first night out since baby Hank was born. Oh, I remember my first night after my kids were born, that sense of freedom, being able to dance without your boobs resting on your belly, having like one drink and being wasted, it's the best. Unfortunately for Kendra, her fun Super Bowl weekend took a turn for the worse when the Colts lost and she had to walk half a mile back to the family bus, all while being booed and heckled by angry fans. Uh, Kendra, that would've been a good time to bust the boobs back out. Mm -hmm. Turn those frowns upside down. And finally, my ridiculous reality recap of the week goes to Ramona, of course, from The Real Housewives of New York, who sent her 15-year-old daughter Avery home alone in a cab after New York fashion show so that she could go to a Perez Hilton party with Kelly Ben Simone. Okay, Ramona, are you kidding me? Number one, putting your teenage daughter alone in a cab at night in New York City and telling her to text you when she gets home is a horrible idea. And all for a Perez Hilton party? Come on, girl, it's not like he's P. Diddy or something. Ridiculous. Well, peeps, that's all for today. Send me any questions or funny comments to my Facebook or follow me on Twitter at Nicole Seidman. And check out my blog, www.hotmomspot.blogspot.com for more reality show recaps. And until next time, cheers. It's five o'clock somewhere, right? <laughs>